Holman's family. We are hoping you all are doing well during this time. So we want to talk to you about how you can infuse self-love into your life daily. There's a list of 10 here, okay? So you may want to write this list down and then challenge yourself each day and each week to see how many you can complete off of your list. The first one is to set stronger boundaries. Okay, you have to show people how to treat you. Number two, you wanna meditate and listen to your heart. And meditation isn't as tricky as a lot of people think it is. You could be in your car in the parking lot, you just close your eyes and focus on your breath. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Because meditation is simply all about just silencing your mind, silencing those thoughts that makes you feel uncomfortable. It doesn't make you feel so good. Number three, you want to speak to yourself with compassion. You want to tell yourself that you are enough, that you can do it, you will have it, you can attract it, you are powerful, right? And then number four, you want to focus on your strengths. Number five, you want to say no to something that is not a soul yes, right? No is a complete sentence. So you don't owe anybody an explanation. And also, say yes only if you want to. Do not allow people to guilt you into doing things. Oh, well, I did this for you, so you should do it. No, you don't. People should do things out of the kindness of their heart. That has nothing to do with you because they chose to do that. It is up to you, okay? So take control of your life. Number six is to say yes to something that you are afraid of. So feel the fear and do it anyway. It may be going on a date to meet somebody new and you open your heart. Just say yes. You never know. You may say yes to a new job opportunity or, you know, a new job venture or an adventure. Just open your heart. And then we have number seven is to let go of what you can't control. All right? Allow things to flow instead of forcing things. Number eight is to stay far away from drama and negativity. Very important one right there. Number nine is to ask for help and allow it. It is okay to ask others for help. You may have been let down in the past, but right here and here and now, this is a new beginning and you're rewriting the story. So therefore, allow the help in no matter what form it comes in, all right? And then write down three things you are grateful for. Gratitude opens up so many doors and it will help you in the most tremendous way. So we do hope that these self-care tools will assist you along your journey.